My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top and then slowly coming down, trace the line and do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. So this is chipping. Your feet are close together. This is a pro. The ball is going to be right in between your feet. Now watch the chipping action. It's just a short back swing turns his body through. Now what I want you to look at, see the club face is square, look at the left arm at impact, very straight. The upper arm is pinned up against the chest. So that's chipping. Now here's a, here's a back view. Watch what he does here. He's going to turn back. Look at his right elbow. He's down. It's in like a right angle there. Down his yep. hips are, his hips are hard. Right. But notice the feet. Now, this is what I wanted to call your attention. Here's his ankles. They're right underneath his hips. So you don't want to be too wide. All right. Look where the ball is positioned. But, okay, the feet are the, the shorter you're trying to hit. The shorter you're trying to hit the ball, the, the, the smaller your, your stance. The more stance. narrow. Yeah, and the more narrow. Right. Now, Let's talk about the golf swing because now I don't expect you to be able to do all this today, but I just want to call your attention to some things here. He's turning his hips and shoulders. His trunk is rotated approximately 90 degrees, approximately. His hips have rotated approximately 45. It's going to take some time for him. Now, as, as right. Alert. Sure. But watch the lower half now. It shifts. Yeah, there goes his hips and it yep. down low. Now the hips are starting to rotate down into the ball. Right. Here. And here's impact. Yeah. Now you would say, well, that doesn't look anything like the address position. Well, the answer is no, it's not. Yeah. Your hips have rotated from the address position 45 degrees. Your weight should be on your forward foot. Now watch as he finishes up, his right knee is going to come towards his left knee and he's going to come up onto his right toe. And his chest is completely rotated, as is his hips and everything else. Now, do I expect you to be able to do that today? No, but at least you understand so his, it. His, his, uh, his weight was balanced. I don't think you put your weight on your back. No, you it. don't. No, you that's a good it. question. It's about 50-50 with a 7-iron. And as you shift through, the weight shifts. With Correct. The weight to this this mat right here has got a thousand sensors on it. I'm going to show you where your and weight is. And this comes up because you right. want to make sure you get the weight off of that and transfer it to this. Right. Way. So the only thing I would say in critiquing your setup is I don't like your right hand grip and I, your feet are too far apart. Now let me show you what the grip should look like. Alright, so this lady right here, you can see her hands. You see how your right hand is way underneath the club? When I say way under, you've got it, your right hand is rotated what we call, oh, this is clockwise. No, I would, I, would, I would concern myself with the grip. Getting the see how this, her her right thumb is on the left side of the grip. Let me show you another picture that might be a little more uh, clear. 
All right, here's another guy. See the grip there, Ron? You see how yours is a little more underneath? All right, now, that's the thing we want to work on, the grip. But look, here's your swing. You did nicely here. Your posture, from doing law, practicing law, you're over, <laughs> you're, you're, you're really round-shouldered. And that's just a combination of age and gravity and all that stuff. But that's a good backswing. That's good. Now you're going to shift your weight. That's really good. That's a very good swing. It really is. You've got a nice straight left arm. Now, what would I say? I would say you got to get a little more over here. I'd like to see your left hip come to that red line where I just drew that line. Yeah, it's not hip didn't. Okay. You didn't really shift enough. No, I was just too right. worried about too many things. Right, and that's okay. You didn't know any better anyway until today, probably. But here you go. Watch this guy. I could have had that clunk this way now, right? You could have. You could have had it more. Now, he's a lot younger, and he's been playing golf, so don't expect to do all this. He's a pro. Obviously, he's got tremendous flexibility. Hopefully, he's got that clunk. Well, he's right. Up. He's also half your age, not even. He's 22, four years old. All right, now, but what I want to show you is watch this lower body shift. In any sport, if you throw a baseball, you got to use your legs. you got to push off. If you hit a baseball... Same winning with hitting. you got to have... That's your, right. you got to have balance. That's right. Back, here comes the ball. Hit the ball. you got to shift. Shift off. That's right. So, that's right. You use what's called ground force reaction. You're going to push against the ground to generate some speed yeah. in your body. Now, he's going to push off, and he's going to shift. And... When he does that, that's that's the only part right there. Wow. He's going to come through. There's impact. Now, what are the conditions of impact? The left arm and shaft are in a straight line. Well, you already do that. I didn't even have to teach you that. See, you've already got that down. Yeah. Now, you're going to come on through. That's pretty good. You learned that today, and you didn't do that when we started. So that's good. Now, if you watch this guy, he's going to do the same thing. So you're doing just fine. Yeah, okay, a little more. Okay, it'll come. Yeah, it's really good, though, yeah. for the first day. That's really good. Yeah. Now, as I show you a few more swings, uh, you're going to see this guy's real tall. He's 6'4". So you can see how much knee flex he has. He has to bend down more yeah. than everybody else. I'm going to show you the swing plane. The definition of the swing plane is he's the... Hitting a driver, he's hitting a driver. He's hitting a driver, yep. Okay. He's standing farther from the ball. Yep. Yeah. That red cone, he's going to keep the club on that lower line. For the most part, the club's going to stay right in that cone. Goes to the top. What I like to see is the left arm is right across the right shoulder and the angle of the left arm is about perpendicular to the spine. So that's pretty good. Is, is, is there, a, it seems like it's a, a slightly, when I was right. playing, I remember it was a slightly different swing with the driver versus... Yeah, I mean, it's a longer golf club, but in terms of the technique, it's the same. It's the same. same. It's just because it's a longer club, you're going to swing it differently. I had um, difficulty using any driver. I used to go off and tee off with a three. Right, driver. right. Well, and you know what? You're going to learn how to hit the driver today because I'm going to make you hit one. Okay. Um, because you just told me you couldn't do it. So I don't like that word can't. So that's not in my vocabulary. So that back swing is pretty good. You got the elbow down. You're you're doing fine. 